Indian economy is positioned as sixth in terms of the nominal GDP and is considered as the third largest economy in terms of purchasing power parity PPP. The years 2015 and 2016 has played a vital role in Indian economic development as during this period Indian World Bank's expansion growth was observed. This was the major reason why economy developed to 7.6%. However, this growth diminished in 2017 to 7.1%, but it is assumed that the growth rate will rise up to 7.2% in 2018, following 7.7% in 2019. Indian economy is mainly known for its service sectors as it has been one of the leading countries to export business process outscoring BPO services and software services. India is also rich in agricultural sector, employing thousands of people in agricultural fields and seeking a second position in the world in terms of farm output. History of Indian economy After the conclusion of British rule, India's economy grew, but the rate of development was slow. When India adopted liberalization, it became one of the fastest growing countries in the world. Generally, there were three eras in Indian histories that are Ancient and Medieval period, Mokhal era and British era. Let's discuss these periods in detail. Ancient and Medieval era The ancient period is linked with 1800 BC and 2800 BC, when the people used to exercise agricultural activities, use uniform measures to wait, developed urban sanitation system and brought in various changes. South India and West Asia were the two regions involved in maritime trading and the two spots named Coromandel Coast and Malabar were set as the trading centers. However, the trading could not sustain for a long time as the Coromandel Coast and Malabar were snatched and controlled by the Jewish, Parsi, Syria, Muslim and Christian. In this era, the reputed kings and rulers used to take revenues from the small agricultural frames for lending them the land to harvest crops. The farmers were given some harvested crops for their hard work and services. This clearly states that though the kings had the authority to issue coins and currency, the barter system still exists and exploited the peasants. Mokhal era The Mokhal era began in 1526 and lasted till 1793, in which the Indian economy remained stable until the 18th century. The gold, silver, copper and other important coins were used by the Mughal emperor. Before the arrival of Britishers, India was united. There were about 64% of the people engaged in agricultural activities and 36% of people opted for industrial and service sectors for their daily livelihood. In comparison to the Europe, where more than 80% of the people were dependent on, on agriculture, Indian economy proved to be better. Indian industrial sector boosted under the Mughal period. The cash crops, goods, equipment, tools and other commodities were exported all over the world. The major leading industries of India during the Mughal rule include textiles, steel and shipbuilding. The food that was supplied is sugar, oil and butter. In the 17th and 18th century, Europe was highly lured by the Mughal's production and hence several commodities like spices, indigo, peppers and silks were imported from Europe. The Mughal emperor concluded in the 18th century when North India and South India were snatched by the Marathas. This led to the decrease in agricultural productivity and hence the industrial sectors were affected by the slow growth. British era 1793-1947 In the 19th century, India was controlled by the Britishers who used to take the Indian raw materials and supply the same to Britain for the conversion of raw materials into final products. These final products were then sold to Indians at an expensive rate. The period of British era resulted in a decline productivity of food crops, mass impoverishment, unemployment and various famines. The per capita income, which was estimated to be 24.4% during the Mughal period, was brought down to 4.2% in 1950s. A large number of Indian markets were conquered by the Britishers and the tariffs and quotas were introduced in India for exporting the commodities to other countries except for Britain. 
Although British government ruined the Indian economy, there were some positive aspects of this colonial rule as well. The railways, communication, airways and roadways were well developed by the Britishers for the transfer of Indian commodities to Britain and vice versa. After the conclusion of the British period, India adopted the worst economy that comprised of the illiterate farmers and labour force, insufficient agricultural production in respect to the Indian population, inadequate infrastructure and a massive unemployment. Three Sectors of Economy Indian adopted a three sectors economy including Agricultural sector, crops, horticulture, milk and animal husbandry, fishing, aquaculture, forestry, aviculture and much more. Industry and manufacturing sector Manufacture and processing of steel, iron, copper and other industrial related goods. Service sector Construction, infrastructure, education, communication, healthcare, banking and financing, hospitals, transport, insurance, and other such economic activities. Agricultural sector According to the surveys of 2014, India was placed at second position in agricultural productivity with around 49% of the people employed in the same sector. Although Indian agriculture declined till 2011, the Green Revolution played a major part in improving the irrigation, technology, adoption of modern agricultural tools and equipment, and allowance of various agriculture subsidies. The international reports clarify that Indian agriculture contribute 30% to 50% of the total agricultural production in the world. Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Maharashtra and Gujarat are the major contributors of agriculture productivity. Around 6 million of Indian workforce is engaged in fishers' work. The country has also occupied the sixth position in the largest fishing industries of the world. Cotton, milk and jute are largely produced in India and are exported to diverse parts of the world. The 2011 estimation states that there are a total of 170 million animals present in this land, i.e. the second largest country in animal population. India has ranked second in the production of wheat, rice, sugarcane, cotton, ground nuts, fruit and vegetables and consumer silk. Industrial sector There is recently 22% of Indian workforce engaged in the industrial sector. The Indian industries experienced several amendments after the end of colonial rule. In 1991, India was liberalized from the export and import of foreign countries and hence welcomed the foreign investment, the government-owned companies that experienced losses were privatized, and the infrastructure was improved to a great extent leading to the easy flow of goods and services from one place to another. India also adopted the latest and modern technologies, reducing labor-intensive industries. But this expansion also resulted in increased unemployment. Petroleum Products and Chemicals The overall contribution of petroleum and chemicals industries to India's GDP is 34%. Jamnaga in India owns the world's largest refinery. India is also listed under the top five producers of agrochemicals, polymers, plastic, dyes and other such chemicals. At the same time, the country also imports a large amount of chemicals to accomplish the domestic requirements. Engineering The engineering sector includes machine, tools, transformers, capital goods, automobiles, switch gear, furnaces and much more. India is the third largest exporter of engineering products and this sector also have a major contribution to the GDP. Gems and Jewellery India has been the major producer and supplier of precious metals like diamonds, gold and silver for many years. Surat and Mumbai are mainly known for polishing jewellery, cutting, finishing and supply. The jewellery industries contribute to 7% of Indian GDP. Service sector In 1950, the service sector has the lowest contribution to GDP that is 15%, but in today's era, this sector is the major contributor with 57% to world's GDP. 
around 27% of the Indian workforce is employed by the service sector. Banking and finance are one of the essential service factors that are classified into two types, i.e. an organized sector that consists of private banks, public banks and foreign operated bank. The unorganized sector consists of the moneylenders and other financial institutions. According to the surveys taken in 2006 and 2007, the public bank had around 75% of assets and on the other hand, the private and foreign-owned had 18.2% assets. Electricity sector India is titled as the third largest energy-consuming country with China and the United States of America being at the first and the second places. India consumes 85% of coal and crude oil and the old stock of India accomplishes 25% of people's requirement. Assam, Rajarat, Rajasthan and Mumbai are the major cities where the oil and natural gas fields are sited. In 2013, India ranked third in the production of electricity. Infrastructure India's infrastructure adds 5% to the GDP. The roadways are well built and the Indian roads are second largest roadways in the world. India has government-owned railway tracks that are considered as the fourth largest railways in the world. There are about 125 airports in India among which there are 65 airports that have the permit to carry both the travellers as well as the cargo.